Okay, so welcome to a retro car and a very quick updated video, which is being filmed on a Xiaomi Note 10 Pro <laughs> because my video camera is out of batteries. But what we're going to do today is show you how to upgrade the new RG350M to have HDMI out support. And also this mod works for the original RG350 as well. So first thing you want to do is get your SD card out. Now we're going to be using the M model here. So we want to be taking the SD card which has all our ROMs stored on it. We don't want to take this one out because that's where your BIOS and boot up menus and all that are stored. So we want to be using this one, the one where your games are stored. And what we want to do is we want to put this into an SD card reader and stick it into the PC. Okay, so let's just put this into the PC here. And you'll see on the screen we have a couple of files. Let's just open that up. There are two versions of the files which you'll need to mod the RG350. There's the 350M version and the original 350 version. Now please keep in mind that these files will only allow you to mod the original RG350 firmware. So if you've added a hacked firmware or so-called updated firmware, these are not going to work and could possibly break your system. So only use these on stock firmware. All right. So since we are using the 350M, we're going to open up this file here. Okay, and what we want to do is take out, let's open up the folder, and what we want to do is copy this file here, the OPK file. Now what we want to do is copy this to the micro SD cards, which we're going to put back into our RGB350. And what we want to do is we want to put it in a folder called apps. If you don't have a folder called apps, then just make one. Okay, so we'll drop it into the should take a couple of moments because it is quite a big file okay and there we go okay that's it so we can now take out this micro SD card and put it back into our RGB uh, RGB RG 350m one thing to note though there is a little readme file here which you should read this readme file will give you information about this mod now there will be times when the emulators will run a little bit too fast or may not run at the correct speed, maybe a bit too slow or whatever. Okay, so what we do is we move over to applications. And you will notice there is a now a new application known as OS Update CN. Go over to that and press the A button. And here we have the update. So you should read through this just to be safe that you're not going to uh, come across anything which you didn't expect. Go to update and press start. And this will install the HDMI patch. Now it may take a couple of minutes, depends on your device. Unless it comes up with an error, don't worry if it stops a little bit. Just let it do its thing and you'll be fine. Okay, so once it's installed the patch, You'll get back to this screen just press start on the ok and it should automatically reset the system all right and there you go it's reset and now our hdmi should work but first we should go and switch it on in the settings all right so let's go over to the settings menu here it is and we'll go here and here we go hdmi we just press the button there to switch it on and that's it we are on just press start to get out of that oops no 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 bye bye get off of that thank you very much all right okay so let's connect this up to the hdmi on the monitor so let's move the camera over here to show you that it is all in real time okay well, look at that you get to see all the lovely stuff on my desktop aren't you lucky all right so let's switch the monitor over to the other input, HDMI number two, thank you. Here we go. Let's connect it up. Oh, I was a bit too slow. By the way, somebody in the comments was asking about the type of HDMI cable they need. Basically, this uses a HDMI mini cable. They're available on Amazon. Just put HDMI mini cable into Amazon and you'll be able to find one there. Uh, one side is mini, the other side is standard HDMI. All right, so plug it in. Let's get this monitor back onto the other input, HDMI 2. And what we should find out is this should now be on that screen. No, now that is surprising. 
Tell you what we'll do, we'll do a quick reset of the console to see if that makes any difference. Oh, I think it is working. It's gone off. Okay, let's get back to that. HDMI 2, please. And yes, we are. We are on. All right, it took a couple of seconds to work, but I think that's because this was the very first time it's been done. Now, you may notice that it is extremely long and stretched. Don't worry, that's because this is an ultra wide monitor, that's why it looks so crazy. Okay, well let's see a game running on this, and I think we'll do X main because we didn't do that in the main review, did we? And yeah, we got Hook, let's give Hook a try. Uh, make sure everything is correct. Sound frequency, we should put it up to 44100 to make sure it's all working correctly. All right, let's get the game going. And hopefully this should work perfectly fine. Yep. Seems to be. Let me see if we can ex uh, change the video settings on this monitor to um, render it in. No, we can't, can we? We've got game option for no lag. But, uh, no, we can't change the aspect ratio on this monitor. Jeez, all right. Well, that ain't gonna be changed. We're gonna play a hook in super widescreen. All right, let's press start, get credit in there. Peter Pan. And there we go. And yes, we are controlling it with the RG350. Nice, so as you can see the HDMI does work on this, unfortunately <laughs> it's very stretched on this monitor. Now hopefully some emulators will allow us to change the uh, video screen aspect ratio, or if you've got a monitor that allows you to do that, even better. Man, it's so weird playing F0 on a super stretched monitor. <laughs> it's difficult as well. But as you can see, it's working perfectly fine. No problems whatsoever. And let's finish up with a bit of Tomb Raider 2 on the PlayStation. Let's see how this runs. Should be fine. Hopefully. Let's go straight to Laura's home and uh, just have a quick run around there. Welcome back. After that grooming business last year, I decided to go with the salt to hone my skills and learn from you. Yep, it runs just like it does on a regular PlayStation. No, I'm not trying again. I'm just demonstrating the speed. Man, the controls on this are terrible. I forgot how bad the original Tomb Raiders were. But yeah, that's running the exact same speed as it was, as it would on a regular PlayStation. So that is not affected by the HDMI out at all. Good stuff. And of course, if you take out the HDMI cable, the image should appear back on the CV screen or back on the uh, RG350 screen. All right, so there you have it. That is the HDMI mod for the RG350 and the RG350M. I do apologize for the complete and utter amateurish look of this video. Unfortunately, as I said, it's a very quick video, not meant to uh, bring in the views, just more for information. So there's going to be a link in the video description down below for the files needed to mod an RG350 or an RG350M. Remember, only do the mod if you're running on original firmware, not some updated firmware.
keep that in mind. Until next time, guys, happy gaming and enjoy your games. See ya. Bye.